This video you're watching right now is brought to you by my ridiculously generous supporters of my Patreon. Thanks to their kindness, I'm able to do videos full time and bring you all this content that you get to watch for free. So be sure to give them a thank you as well. If you'd like to join them, head to patreon.com slash and choose a tier. Just five bucks gets you on the screen you're watching right now. And you could even help me get to the USA a little bit sooner, huh? You wanna see me at MFF, AC, BLFC? Hmm? Well, my Patreon helps me get there. So if you like what I do, give it a look for me. But for now, it's time for the video. What, 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 what? Hello, how's it going? Look, look, my couch, it has evolved. Now, we've actually just moved to a new filming spot. Got a nice bigger room, bigger couch, all my suits are behind there, super cool. Really cool setup, and this is my first video in this new setup. Woo. So we're doing a QA. and a It's been actually a long time since I've done a Q&A. I'm sorry about that, but we're doing YouTube comments this week, so let's go. From Artist Angel 313 Hi, Roo. I love your fursuit and videos. My question is, I would love to have a fursuit, but I live in Arizona, which is always hot, but I know I wouldn't be using it as much as most people that use them, and I have no idea if there are any furry cons or something like that. Should I still get one, or is there no point even if I really want one and would work hard to keep it clean? Also, if you come to the United States, where are you going to be because I would love to meet you in person. Uh, from Angel. First of all, there is actually a furry con in Arizona, literally called Arizona Fur Con, so do check that out. Um, otherwise, whether or not you should get a fursuit is really up to you because I know lots of people that own like heaps and heaps of fursuits, but like never really get them out. It's just, they like having them, they like seeing them, and owning them, collecting them, and just playing with them in their own time. So, it's really up to you. If you really want one, and you think it's worthwhile, and it's worth the money, and you're still gonna get a lot of enjoyment out of it, just, just owning it, then go ahead, do it. And just because it's hot, doesn't mean you can't first it. Obviously, don't go outside and first it when it's really hot. You can first it indoors, where it's air conditioned. As for where I go in the States, uh, it, it depends on when I have the money. <laughs> Like, if it's easier to go to MFF, I'll go to MFF. If it's easier to go to Anthrocon, I'll go to Anthrocon. That's, that's really it. I know I definitely want to go to Florida. I've got a lot of people in Florida that I would love to meet. So I'll be there at some point. Uh, but as for a furry con, I'm not sure. But I would like to make it MFF. It won't be until about the year 2020 unless my patron explodes or something. From Malibu Sky. Every time I pull on my fursuit head, my balaclava pulls down over my eyes and makes it really tricky to see. And I even pull it back and it migrates back right back down as I'm suiting. Any advice for this? Thanks! And as a follow-up question, since my suit head is lined, how necessary are balaclavas? Okay, I actually have this problem a lot, so I can help you with that. Like, I find it's a real problem, especially in the looser heads. Like, look at this. My head's pretty loose. The way that I solve this is, I put my balaclava on, I pinned it so that it would be as tight on me as possible, and then I actually sewed it up smaller. And then for that extra line of security, I actually safety pin it to my under armor. So no matter what I do, like no matter how much I move my head, that balaclava is not going anywhere. As for the necessity of balaclavas, um, so you definitely, 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 definitely do need one if your head isn't lined. But if it is, it is your choice. But I still highly recommend it because it keeps a lot of sweat and grossness out of your suit head. And first suit heads are very hard to clean, so... It's much easier to get your balaclava gross than your head gross. I find that my head is always a lot more rank and takes a lot longer to smell nice again when I don't wear my balaclava, so highly recommend. From Patchwork Symphony, I've been made fun of because I made my newest suit was made with a base and they have told me I'm not a real fursuit maker even though I credit the base maker help. Okay, I've heard of these people, these elitist fursuit makers that don't believe you're a real fursuit maker if you didn't make the fursuit entirely yourself. and. I think that is a load of donkey do. There is a lot that can be done with a fursuit base and even then it doesn't matter because you're still a fursuit maker, you, you still did the fur, you did the patterns, you lined it, like you still did everything else, you just didn't do the foam bit. Which is, which is fine, it still takes a lot of skill, I don't know why people think that's like, not legit. Like you know my identity head, that's built on a DVC base. Like, one of the most commonly used bases there is, and I don't think it looks like it, but it doesn't matter. It was still used as a base, and Jackson Zombie is still a very well, what's the word? <laughs> a well-received fursuit maker, so ignore those people, those dumb elitists, there's no point. I'm, I'm glad you do credit your base maker though, always credit your base makers, not only do they love it and it helps them get some more um, publicity, but they, yeah, they like seeing what suits come out of their equipment and stuff. A lot of people make their money off just doing fursuit bases, like they don't finish the heads, they just sell the bases to other people. So if we start saying that, you know, 
you're not a real fursuit maker, if you don't use bases, then you're putting those people out of work. So yeah, don't worry about them. They're bad people. Please keep using bases and please keep making fursuits and being amazing. From Sassy Me is Fuzzy. <laughs> Hello, Fakari. This may be a silly question, but I have over 30 Sonos slash OCs and I want to know to get rid of my characters without being sad about it. The reason I want to get rid of the characters is mainly because I just want to make more, but it's so hard to manage. Plus, there's so many great adopts. Greetings from Perth. The best way to get rid of characters without being sad about it is making sure that they go to a good home that is going to be able to use them, which will take a bit longer, but I, I certainly feel better when I give away or sell a character to someone that is going to actively use them and love them even more than I ever could. Or you can find some brand new furries who don't have a fursona yet and give it to them as a gift. And that'll make them really happy. And then you'll be happy because you made someone else happy with your character and you're now down a character. You can also fuse them as well, you know, do the half fusion half and like create a brand new character out of them so you're still technically keeping the characters, but you have less characters. That's all the ideas I have. If anyone else has some ideas, please leave it for them in the comments below. From Kolachi. This this is most likely the dumbest question you've ever been asked, but I'm curious. Most fursuits have four fingers on their paws. I do indeed. Uh, and the human wearing it most likely has five. E e yes, most likely. <laughs> Where do you put the other finger? Like, which finger on the suit is sharing two of your fingers? Now, I'm pretty sure I've answered a question like this before, but people keep asking me it, so I'm gonna answer it again. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna show some humans, so uh, if you're a bit afraid of uh, the magic being broken, close the video now, here we go, and yeah, there we go. So the reason it works is because, as you can see, this paw is a lot bigger than my actual hand, and this is also how my fingers go, if you can see the spread there, so we got one, two, three, and four on the pinky there. I actually can't really do it without the paw on, it's kind of funny, so that's how I do it. I know some people like to do it that way as well, and of course it's always that one. But yeah, it's very easy because these paws are quite 2D and you've got lots of room to pretty much do whatever you want in them. <laughs> Alright, now that that horror show's over, we're back. Next question. From Windseeker. Hey Pakari, I have a question. Which of your currently owned suits do you identify with the most? Like, which suit do you feel best represent, represents you as a person? Also, hello from Chile, Minnesota. At the moment, I've definitely got to say Niho, just because shark. <laughs> now, Niho's a more kind of fun, bubbly, playful kind of character who I'm definitely identifying with more at the moment, and she is one of my personas as well, so I'm definitely feeling more like the Niho right now. You can always tell which character I'm feeling like the most by who I've got as my icon on my Desi Twitter, so there you go. My personality and my mood likes to flip flop a fair bit, so I like to represent it with all my different characters because I'm just a crazy whammon. From Whitey the Cat. Hi Fakari, where can I meet you? You have a beautiful persona. Regards, Amanda. Oh, thank you. I'm sure you're beautiful too. Um, the most reliable place you can meet me is Ferdu and Neon Fur, the two furry cons in Surface Paradise. Um, I do occasionally go to the South Bank Fur Meet, maybe like once every three months, so uh, I wouldn't count on it, but You'd be more, more uh, lucky waiting for photo. That'll all be more reliable. <laughs> From Sidron. Hi, Pakari. I want to start by saying you are an incredibly large influence on me. Ah. Uh -huh. I have a suit on the way and I'm wanting to start making puffy paws soon. So now my question, what are your thoughts on poodling? I think it's odd that people would shame it, but not everyone can afford a, first, a, full, a, a full suit or even half a partial. What are your thoughts? Okay, have a nice day. Okay, I have very mixed feelings on poodling, to be honest. Like, my overall stance is, you know, it's your fursuit, you wear it how you want. But you gotta remember when you're in the public eye, so in parks and things and whatnot, you represent all of us, so you wanna be able to put on a good face. I get that not everyone can afford a full suit, but you can still wear a jumper or something just over your arm so your skin's not showing. Oh, by the way, if anyone doesn't know what poodling means, uh, that's when you wear fursuit parts with large amounts of skin in between. So say, wearing just a head and paws, but with a tank top on. So you've still got your arms visible, so you've gone poof, skin, poof, and you look like a poodle. But yeah, in public, you want to try and avoid showing skin with your suit because you're representing all of us and you want to look good. But in your home and at furry cons and other places where it doesn't matter, who cares? Like, I poodle all the time at home and at furry cons because I know it, it doesn't matter. But I know some people where it's actually a health issue. You know, they have a very, very low heat tolerance, but they still want to go fursuiting in public. So they are forced to, you know, leave some skin so they, you know, don't die. And for that reason, I don't judge people when I see them poodling in public because, hey, it, there might just be a very good reason for it. So if you can afford to cover up your skin when you're fursuiting in public, please do. Otherwise, I guess don't worry about it. So yeah, for that reason, I'm very torn on it because again, I want, you know, the public to think we're, we're nice and we look good, 
but at the same time, I want people to wear the first suit how they want. So, yeah. and I've actually seen some instances where poodling looks good anyway. So, meh. Okay, who cares? Just do what you want, and don't judge people who are judging poodles. Don't. All right. This is, who cares? It's their suit. Let them do what they want. I know this is a lot of mixed opinions, but now you can see just how mixed my thoughts are on it. So. Draw your own opinions from that. All right, that's it for this Q&A. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you would like to leave me some more questions, you certainly can. Leave them in the comments below with the hashtag Q&A and then I will find them. Or you can email me, pakariru at outlook.com. Yes, I still use Outlook. And I will see you in the next video. Okie doke.